Very smooth beginning here. Order of Australia on the inside is out prominently. El Drama's got some early speed too and will take the lead. It will be El Drama to set the pace here on top by a length and a half early. Then it's Al Farik running in second position. Nation's Pride now moving up on the outside. Order of Australia is next. Lord North is close. He's only four legs behind up the back stretch. Just ahead of Master of the Seas, Serifos, and moving on the far outside is Real World as they continue up the back stretch. Cheryl Spite is glued to the rail, five legs from the front. Then Sir Busker on the inside, followed by Junko. And behind them, Danon Beluga, Glorious Dragon, and Vandegaard, last of them all. A compact field here, about 11 lengths from top to bottom as El Drama leads the way to the far turn. With a two-length advantage on Nation's Pride running along in second. And Al Farik third on the inside. Right in contention is Real World, who's up in fourth now. Real World with four legs to make up as they make their way around the far turn. Order of Australia, Master of the Seas, Lord North is held up here, still about six lengths to make up, but well in hand as they make their way around the turn. The churl spiked on the inside. El Drama has been there all the way as they come toward the top of the stretch and will turn for home in the Dubai turf on top. El Drama off the turn, trying to hold on to this tenuous lead here as moving on the outside, Nation's Pride draws up alongside Nation's Pride and Lord North is let loose on the far outside. Alfarik is there toward the inside. Nation's Pride and Lord North. Lord North on the outside. Nation's Pride down toward the rail. These two coming to the wire. Lord North not going to have the share of this year. Lord North takes the Dubai turf. A late close from down on Beluga for second. And then came Nation's Pride in third. And fourth was Cheryl Spite, followed by Junko. It's Lord North, and he was by himself under Frankie today. Showed some turn of foot again there. Well done. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, the first time he won the race, um, he showed a nice turn of foot there. And then last year, you know, it wasn't quite as a straightforward preparation as this year. And, you know, the, obviously, Audi looks after him, rides every day. He thought he was sort of better, much better form than last year. And I'm very happy with him coming into the race. Obviously, you can't say that before in case it all goes wrong. But, you know, it looked a little bit messy in the, in the mid part of the race there coming into the bend. But, uh, you know, he got out of any trouble and showed a great turn of foot to, to get to the front. El Drama made a good even gallop, and that was probably key to your horse's chances, getting a little bit of a stretch on him into the straight. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, he broke well from three, and he was, you know, he was probably about six deep, and like you say, the strong pace up front definitely helped him, and he got a nice toe into it, and he, he picked up like you know he can. And Teddy, for you and your dad and your team at home, uh, to get a win in this race again must mean a lot, particularly with last year, just about getting him here to dead heat in this race. No, exactly. You know, it's fantastic. Um, that's everyone at home in the yard, and obviously, Vanessa with a horse and, uh, and you know Frankie on his world tour. Um, you know, he's obviously he's a homebred uh, Delvey now, and uh, it's fantastic for him to come out here and win win a race of this quality three years on the on the trot. Great achievement, this well done, enjoy it. Thank you, friend. A word with Frankie Tesori. This is very much one they wanted to see, Frankie. Congratulations, indeed. Let's just deal with the horse first. Three in a row, but no photo needed this time. Amazing. I mean, what, to win once. I mean, three times. The team has done an amazing job because. His horse to get sick quite easily. That's why he doesn't run there often. But you know, we, the, the boys getting ready for this race, and uh, full credit to everyone. They've done an amazing job, and Lord North himself, what a star! What a star! Um, we might be speaking to you later, but I just wanted to say, if this is to be the farewell tour and the last leg in Dubai, how special has this place been in your riding career, Frankie? Oh, great! Look. I came in with some decent rides and you know, I still got country grammar later on, but to just get one on the board at this beautiful place, what has been my home for so many winters, uh, yeah, pretty special. Can I give us a fly this round, well done.